Welcome again to Anime Cons TV. We're here at PortCon 2013, and we're talking with Chris Kaysen this time. Hello. How's it going, Chris? Uh, great, great. So, one of the things we do every time is we ask everyone, what was your first convention? <laughs> we're getting mood lighting here. <laughs> uh, is there a wrong answer based on this lighting? Uh, uh, let's see. What was my... Uh, first convention. My first convention ever. Oh, my gosh. I... I think, I'm pretty sure my first convention ever was, um, I think it was A-Fest. A-Fest in Dallas, I believe, Anime Fest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there's, every convention does something a little differently, has their own spin on things. Is there something you've seen at one convention or the other that you wish more conventions would do? Um, well, I, I think in general, and I'm sure many people would say the same thing, uh, and not coming from a guest perspective, but just from an atten just anyone, mm -hmm. uh, I think that the the staff or volunteer, the ratio of staff volunteer to attendee has to be just right. I think for it to be a really smooth uh, convention or, or any event, really. But if you have, you know, if you're understaffed and things go crazy, if you're overstaffed and that's kind of off kilter too, it has to be just the right mix. And I don't know, of course, it's a magic number and I don't know what that would be. Yeah. But it's really finding that level, I think, is what makes a smooth weekend. So I would say that over anything else. All right. And on the same token, is there anything you wish cons would try and avoid or something that you think is a trend you're kind of worried about? Something that I'm worried about as a guest at yeah, cons? Or, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, something that they, they would try to avoid. Um, I, I don't know. I, um, I mean, you know, I, we were actually talking about this earlier, that as a guest, we often don't really get the full picture of what the con is like because we only see it from our our prism. You know, a like very the, limited view, yeah. Yeah, and, and we don't, in other words, we often don't get to see the... You know the, the warts and all, or the problems that they may be having, because we only see just you know our what we're doing. So uh, I, I don't know. I, I really couldn't comment on in general what what not to do, other yeah. than the uh, um, the, staff. the ratio. Yeah. 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 So um, one of our questions that we also like to ask is, do you have a favorite convention memory or something that stands out as either the, your funniest story or just your crowning moment of awesome? however you want to define it. <laughs> well, um, a favorite convention moment, honestly, um, it really just happened. I mean, um, my favorite convention moment, it's really the little things, you know? It, it's not a whole room of people uh, applauding or laughing or whatever. Uh, for me, I like just being sort of, you know, tapped on the shoulder in the hallway and then a person says to you, um, you know, I just want you to know that what you and your peers, other voice actors do, has really gotten me through some really tough times. And uh, you know, if it wasn't for if it wasn't for that, I don't know what I would have done. And it really moved me or, or helped me get past something because that's why you know, that, that's why I'm doing it anyway. It, it's, a, it's a form of escape, and it, it helps people. And so uh, that's the most rewarding part of it. And, and that you can't get in a room recording, you know, in, in the dark with an engineer and a director. I mean, this is. It's being out with the people that are into it that really, that's all the difference. It's, it's you know, you, you don't get as much the red carpet treatment. This is one of the few times that, that you get to really interact with the fans on a regular basis is at a convention and really get a chance to chat with them. Yeah, and, and I've said too that I wish there was... I mean, it would be impossible to do. I wish there was a convention for every kind of job out there, like, like as a guest. In other words, I yeah. wish you could be, like, uh, if you install cable, I wish there would be, like, cable installer con or whatever, because I, I, only, I wish that everybody could experience uh, that part of it and what it's like, because it, it's, uh, I mean, it isn't like real life, yeah. and, and it's, uh, it's amazing. It's so cool. Yeah. Um, so uh, the next question, too, is... Are there any conventions you've heard about that you would like to see? Like any ones that are on the radar of like, oh man, I would love to check out this convention. Uh, oh yeah, there's tons. I mean, it seems like, and I'm sure based on the website <laughs> that we're on right now, you know that, I mean, there are more cons than ever before. Mm -hmm. And um, so for me, it's just about, I put it this way, when you're recording in the middle of uh, Texas, working on a show, you don't really, I mean, sometimes it feels like no one's even caring or watching what you're doing anyway and then to find out that across the world people are interested in that it's really mind-blowing so for me I'm going to a con uh, coming up really soon in Australia 
Oh wow! And that's that's the other side of the world, and I can't believe they even want me there. <laughs> like it's amazing to me. So um, I would say that. So for me, anything on the radar would be uh, someplace far away that I can't believe I'm there. Mm-hmm. You know. But at the same time, I always feel like uh, I, I love going, but to me, some place that I've never been. And some place sort of so-called exotic would be amazing. You, you, you can kind of tack on the travel and see see more of the world, so to speak. Yeah. Well, that that's another fun yeah. part of it is seeing more of the world. But uh, I I like I really I like meeting people. And uh, an interesting uh, thing that happens when you travel a lot is you. It sounds corny, but um, everybody we are all human beings and everybody really is the same and what makes somebody laugh or cry over here makes somebody laugh or cry on the other side of the world and it's a really cool I don't know it, I love it it's really cool and I've only done it the last few years and I've really enjoyed it so far quite a bit alright uh, finally where can people find more find out more about what you're up to um, that would be either either there's a, a, a fan site that was made for me called Chris Kaysen's Anime Chuckle Hut. <laughs> it's on a, Facebook. That's a pretty awesome name. <laughs> yeah, it's not like like an early '80s place where like you do stand up comedy <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so Chris Kaysen's Anime Chuckle Hut, and on Twitter it's at uh, Kaysen World. All right, great. So yeah. Well, thank you for taking time to talk with us today. Absolutely. Have a good one. Yeah, you too.